Welcome to Modern Africa. In this Planet Zoo speed build video, we are going to be creating a lovely, beautiful and high detailed habitat for the black rhino. And that's right, we're building a habitat for the black rhino in this video. And we started off with this, which is obviously a glass pane. We're going to build up this modular piece so it's much more easy to create the building. And I tell you what, this building took me a hell of a long time to create. It's modern, it's different, it's not all square, it's got different angles, and it was a pain in the ass, but we did get that in the end. You see, I'm going with plaster pieces and glass pieces. These are basically the foundation of creating anything modern. At the bottom, we've got kind of like what looks like a barrier. It kind of gives the impression that the animals can't get to the glass and it kind of keeps the glass safe from being smashed. Um, probably not that practical in real life considering they are rhinos, but it looks the part anyway. At the top, we've got these red neon lights. Again, just trying to keep it in that modern theme. This is something you would see in a modern build. And you know what? I took no reference images. I googled nothing to create this. I kind of just went by imagination and how I wanted it to look. And I think it does come out looking pretty good. If you do think so as well, hit that like button. And if you're new around here, subscribe, especially if you like Planet Zoo stuff like you're watching now. Creating another different piece here and adding the roof as well. I really didn't know where I was going with this build. I kind of like just winged it, would you call it? Um, creating a smaller piece just so I can turn it more and angle it more and get different little um, angles with this. Again, like I said, this is going to be very modern. It's going to be very different in creation and it's going to be very unique. But I will be keeping with the same theme. You've seen I'm using the same wood pieces and the same plaster pieces in this piece of walling. We, we copy the um, neon, 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 neon. We copy the LED lights at the top as well over just to keep everything so it's matching. And then it was just a matter of building this end piece. Now this will be like the end of the building and just going around and creating these plaster pieces until we got a circular like you can see here. Now to get a circular, all you have to do is get one side and then select it all like you see me doing, duplicate it over and line it all up and nice and tidy it nice and neat and you've got a circular part of your building. You will see flickering on the plaster pieces. It's not unavoidable, but I would have to go into every plaster piece and stop the Z fighting by lowering height in each one. I do do it for some, but not for all. I just need to fill in those gaps and then once those gaps were filled in I created these two towers again from the same wood pieces keeping with the same theme very simple I just created circles with the wood pieces and then the roof again needed a circular roof so I just lined it up against the actual building itself duplicated it around at 15 degrees make sure your angle snap it is on if you do want to create round stuff and then put a glass roof in it and we do create another glass roof on the lower part as well. This just brings a bit of light into the building. This building is mainly going to be for facilities. So these two round um, circular pillars, would you call them? Um, these are going to be um, housing two facilities, the trade centre and the zookeeper's hut. And then the bottom part, the lower part, is obviously going to be the main viewing area for our guest. Hence, that's why we created those glass windows near the start of this build. Creating a little trim here now just around this edge just to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. You wouldn't just have sticky out porky bits and I wanted to cover those sticky out porky bits as well and I thought this was a really good idea of how to do so. Creating a circular all around the rim just like that and just makes it look just twice as better in my opinion. Once we've got one we can just duplicate it over, line it up and we've got the other roof. And let's take a look inside where I've carved out two areas where our facility doors will be. Then the inside we needed to create a floor. I once again used the plaster pieces and I just layered these plaster pieces on this bottom floor. It took me ages, so I've not filmed it. I will skip it for you. But it's just a matter of duplicating over like you can see me doing and creating that flooring. And then we can just group all this together. And guess what? We've got the floor in so we can easily get the roof in. All we have to do is raise it and we've pretty much done the roof as well. I did real colour the roof as you can see on the right and I started adding foliage and I added this little building on the left hand side. Let's take a look. This is going to be a hard shelter and where the entrance to our habitat will be. So our zookeepers will drop off our animals here. And then it was time to go to work on the foliage and the rock work. 
I thought the building took me a long time. I think this actually took me even longer. We used the four rocks mainly because I wanted to recolor them to a different color of rocks, what we've not actually got in game. I kind of wanted like a desert slash savannah kind of color to the rocks. And I'm just playing around with different foliage pieces here. And I always say I make mistakes as well. I'm not perfect. So I just play around with stuff, see what works. See me just playing around with different pieces. And then I found this lovely branch and I thought this is going in that rock like it's coming out the rock and overgrowing it. And it just looks and works really well. All we have to do is grip it all together and duplicate it over and line everything up and create this kind of like natural looking wall. So obviously our guests can stay out and our animals can stay in the rhino. Creating foliage around it now, and, and that's what I'm basically going to do. Let me know, are you enjoying the Arid Pack? This is obviously one of the animals, the Black Rhino is one of the animals in the Arid Pack. Have you built any habitats for yourselves? I would love to see your creations. If you do ever want to share anything with me of your creations, you can easily do so. All you have to do is tweet me, slide it into my DMs on Instagram, on Twitter, or publicly tweet me or at me on Instagram. Tag me, do whatever you want, and I will take a look at your habitats. It would be lovely to see, especially if you're learning stuff off me. That would be quite nice. I've obviously got a lot of tutorials on the channel as well, and a lot of you do seem to enjoy my tutorials. Um, I need to think of some more to do, actually. But once you create so many Planet Zoo videos, you think you've done a tutorial for anything, and then you have a little idea, and then people seem to like it, so you go back to it. Just creating this like kind of like river area now, lining everything up with the same rocks, same colour, so everything is matching and using the little pebbled rocks in the four, select, four rock selection. That was a bit of a tongue twister. Um, I love these. I've, I've said it loads of times in everything I create. I've pretty much put four rocks in everything just because you can recolor them so you can make them look like the other rocks as well. And the different textures you have available to you from these four rocks are brilliant. You can work, make them work in any habitat. Adding the foliage in the gaps, I do recommend doing that just to make sure it looks a little bit more realistic. And using these dead tree bushes, and these was actually released, secretly released in the new update when the, well, obviously the latest update when they released the new Arid Pack. And not a lot of people know that we've got them, but they kind of look like dead black trees. And I just thought they looked really well in this habitat. With the foliage in, it looked something like this. You can see little, little different patches, little different foliage. Don't all use the same foliage. It's a big tip. Let's add the rock work and there we go. We are in on on. That's pretty much all the foliage done. Then I added this little fence. This is a custom fence made by me. Very simple custom fence. And then again, just moving and removing everything and making sure everything lines up. To create this fence, it was quite simple. You can see I've got these conservation pieces. I've kept them the same color. We've got a plaster piece at the bottom. We've got a mesh, obviously, on the bigger one here. And then these are the metal rods, what you can see me clicking on here. Very simple, but very effective. And this is the fence, what we're gonna use for the habitat. Once all the fencing was in, it looked something like this, kind of designed like a circular wavy path. And then I needed to use the fence once again to block off the habitat now so this is where we will run our null barrier through i will show you doing my null barrier it's a bit of a pain in the ass to do i'm not going to lie um lining everything up and we separate it with rocks so i'm just creating this barrier and lining it up to the rocks um i didn't really want like a whole barrier all the way around the edge and i think it worked really well with having this kind of like structure of rocks in the center and then joining the rocks up with the barrier I really enjoy creating this habitat and I hope you enjoy watching me create it and you've got some ideas to create your own. And then the null barrier. The habitat gate is where I said it was going to be in that kind of like circular greenery area where I had shelter for the rhinos will be. And I just started running this null barrier around. Um, I do it nice and neat to make sure everything is included just run it all around the outside if you ever want to um, create something like this if it's something large like a large habitat like this and it's got dug out terrain like bodies of water like this has use no barriers and just run it around the edge and then join it up at the end and here we are the habitat is complete but first let's address the elephant in the room or should i say rhino they are in let's take a closer look how lovely majestic and beautiful are these animals wow they're actually much bigger than a thought which brings me on to my next point all this space and they've still not got enough space they're not happy in here 
I must admit, I will be putting this on the Steam Workshop page, but I'm not going to put it as a black rhino habitat. It's going to be a modern African habitat. And then the viewers, like you guys and girls who are watching, and people on the Steam Workshop page can download it and put whatever animal they want in it. And how's that for a viewing area of a habitat? Wow. I added this elephant grass as well, just to give it an even bit more of a separation from the barrier. I don't want any hands of guests being bit off off any animals were in this habitat, really. It wouldn't be a good look for a zoo, would it? My name's Adam. If you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button. New or old, please hit that like button. It does help the channel and the video a hell of a lot. And it makes me really happy. So if you want to make me happy, hit that like button. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch you in the next, you guessed it, Planet Zoo video.